I can't believe I'm saying this, but the American Arena League, basically through exhibitions and whatnot, is the only league left playing games this summer. I'll just, I'll just let that collective thought, you know, settle in for a moment. How? How? How does this happen? But you're probably here for something else, right? You're here to talk about the NAL canceling their season. The 2020 season is over. As it should have been, you know, long ago for obvious reasons. Like, I don't know what was going on. You know, things were just getting completely out of hand. You know, teams were trying to schedule arenas and whatnot. And it just did not work out. They were trying to go on a single location. Probably Jacksonville. But that didn't work out for an obvious reason. Because the Republican National Convention is a thing. And it is happening. You know, it was rumored to be in Tulsa, I think, as well. But, you know, whatever. Um... Like, the AAL is still technically, you know, going on because there's still technically AAL teams playing. And, of course, there's a EIF team that we talked about a couple weeks ago playing as well. But it's insanity right now, man. It is crazy, let me tell you. And, you know, now I bet you're asking, you know, who is going to be on the chopping block or the NAL in 2021? Well, the answer isn't as simple as you may think, you know, because we didn't get to see West Virginia play or Jersey play this year. We didn't get to see them play at all. Uh, I think West Virginia will be fine. Um, Jersey, though, don't really know about them. You know, it was already messed up anyway, considering, you know, the whole schedule was just messed up. You know, you had some team playing 13 games due to their um, home arena contracts, and, and you know, some were only playing 12, so it was just all wishy-washy from there. Um, but, like, yeah. So, all three of the major indoor arena football leagues have canceled their seasons at various points. Of course, the IFL was the smartest, by the way, and just decided to cancel them like about a month ago, at least. But yeah, so what do y'all think? Um, there's a lot of stuff going on right now still. We still have a whole pandemic and whatnot to be going through. And now that the 2020 indoor football season, the 2020 arena football season is over, because I use these two, both these terms interchangeably because there's two different styles of play. Um, so, arena fans, indoor fans, what do y'all think is going to happen? We have, what, uh, we have 27 teams across these three leagues. Who's going to survive? Who will be picked up? We already know Columbus is a thing in the IFL. Um, so there's technically 28 right now. So there's going to be something that's going to get cut. Somebody's going to get cut out of the deal due to various different things. And then there's other things, you know, that go on behind the scenes as well. So, you know, that's pretty much it. Unless, you know, something changes. Um, that's basically going to do it for my coverage of of the indoor football league this year that's and the National Arena League as well and to an extent champions indoor football. So we'll see you guys next season. Um you know, at least until like players get signed and schedules come out and stuff like that. You know, we'll see you then. Big boy variety saying peace.